So, another day but we're again on Christian's Twitter, this time announcing a new drag and drop on lib panel, which is a prototype for builder's port to GTK4. And there is a YouTube too? Only TikTok is left, and Chris will be influencer ready! Ok, let's watch! So we have drag points, that if we enable them we'll get this cross with all the available positions for placing a panel. This is different than repositioning viewports, for example we can't move the file tree to the right, maybe? So basically this is a nice way for creating new panes, and it can be used in a variety of apps, like the new text app for having side by side views. On the design part sometimes it gets over visualized but I don't think there are many better ways to complete the task, at least if you want to be fully expressive. And besides, add Weta is so cute that forgives everything. In any case, it is very important to try things yourselves, because videos can be deceiving. For once, this thing has an amazing feedback, and everything is super responsive and smooth. And then, Christian forgot to show us the best of it. What's the best of it then? Chino? Is that you? Ready to watch some true awesomeness? So we drag the editor from the grub point, and we place it to the bottom of the cross to make a vertical arrangement. Nothing spectacular so far, but just wait! Next, we have this toggle to show and hide the sidebar. But we can rob the sidebar from here, and move it to the right side. But now the toggle button was disappeared, so how we move it back? Watch and cry! We can grub the sidebar from the right, then the toggle button will magically reappear, and if we hover it, it will open and it will allow us to place the sidebar inside as originally was. And the best part of it? It is so unbelievably smooth and accurate, 